Now, I'm not saying you should put your earbuds in the washer per se, but I'm saying you should put your earbuds in the washer and turn it on. See, I have a bit of a story to tell. When I'm not making these YouTube videos, I actually use the generic Apple earbuds. One of them is good, and one of them is bad. <laughs> and so, it's been like this for quite some time, and then one day, they went missing. The day before, I was doing my laundry, you know, tweaking with the settings, and then I was like, okay, I'll check in my pants, and then give it the good old wash, and I kind of just left it, and that's when I realized I washed the headphones. So I came running back, I was like, no, 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 I washed the headphones! And I grabbed them and I thought, oh, my headphones are toast for sure. I tried them on, and guys, they work now! Both headphones actually play the music correctly, and so if you have ever had defaulty headphones, trust me, just wash them. I, I definitely hope you could detect the sarcasm there, but that was a pretty strange story and I've been wanting to share it for a while. All right, now time to do a little productive thinking. So, as you know, my base is composed of two ice towers, a little storage room right here that's open to the elements, and an ice bridge over here to the village. Now, I want to do a little expanding because I feel like it's not centralized. Also, I need monsters to not attack me when I'm in my storage room. <laughs> no! Oh my god! So, I figured we would do a little brainstorming. What if I put a giant ice tower in the center of the base and this is where the storage room would be? It'd be like all the way up here. That's where the storage would be. And then we could have a whole bunch of different functions in this giant ice tower. But I think that would kind of like centralize our base, give us something to work off of, you know, like have a proper bay. But we wouldn't make it out of normal ice, okay? This stuff melts and ruins all of your projects. We'd make it out of packed ice and blue ice, but I think it would be a pretty fun idea. So I just wanted to get your guys' opinions. What could we put in it? We'd probably have an elevator going up um, and some holes out to the sides. We'd probably have some bridges connecting back to these ones. And I think that could be pretty cool. After all, I do have an ice farm and it would be fun to use. Oh, and we also have that secret ice mine, if you remember, right next to the shopping district. So I think it'd be fun to do this. What do you guys think? remember earlier <laughs> we totally washed this place out oh i forgot the mess this made but this just represents the kind of base or storage system that i want basically it's just going to be a giant version of one of those ice spikes and i think we're going to start it right now wait we need to get some snow first yeah it's a bit tedious This smells good, doesn't it? Well, can't technically smell in Minecraft. I'm a little scared to open this. No trap. <laughs> he actually gave me some diamonds, guys. He actually gave some to me. Me and him were talking earlier about YouTube stuff, and I just said that I spent so much time editing, I can't go mining for diamonds. But I actually did go mining for diamonds, guys. I will have you know, I used up basically this entire pick and got not a single patch of diamond. <laughs> was doing everything right too. See, I was at Y11, I was using the beacon, speed mining away just like this, and I didn't find a single piece of diamond. Also, I was using these uh, lanterns. I think these look so cool down in the mines. <gasps> slime! Oh, this is great. 33 slime balls. Okay, perfect. We're gonna stay far away from that creeper. But don't you guys think that more people should use these lanterns? I mean, they're really not that cheap, especially if you have somebody selling iron for like dirt cheap it's amazing so back to the diamonds how much did he give us no dc i can't accept this i mean i can 
And I might. What do you guys think? Do you think we should accept the diamonds? Like, what fun things could we do with them? We could buy a lot of materials to buy a lot. Do you have ice blocks for sale? No. He has coral, though. And that's kind of cool. Back to the diamonds once again. What do you think we should do with these diamonds? Should we pass them along? Should we invest them in the economy? Should we bury them in the ground? Should we burn them? It's just so many diamonds. I haven't had this many diamonds on a world in so long. Like, look at me guys. I have two diamonds. We can still pull this move. We look pretty rich, right? Aha! Uh -huh. It looks like a giant block of ice, doesn't it? That's what I was going for. I kind of just started off with, I guess you can see it right here, a brick foundation. That way, in case I covered it up, I knew where it was once I've uh, placed in all the ice. Then I kind of just went from there, pillaring up, occasionally going a little bit thinner. So as you can see, it slowly starts to taper in just ever so slightly. Then, of course, we got our standard dirt scaffolding to get almost all the way up. And... I don't know how much higher we should go, but probably a lot higher. Maybe to like right there as he points vaguely into the air. So hopefully that will be a good height. And remember, it's going to be like bulging at the top, kind of like this one. Maybe not as much. We'll see just what looks good. Oh, but like the most important thing, I started adding some browns and I, I don't know if this is weird. I don't know if I'm going crazy. But I actually really like these things. They're just such good blocks. So we'll probably implement this a lot more throughout the whole build. Of course, we're going to add a lot more snow. We still got a decent supply of resources, which is good. Oh, quick question. I explained that the chicken head is a trophy, right? I, I really hope so, because otherwise that wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. I promise. I'm not trying to play off green off of every video. And yeah, our first mega ba well. I wouldn't even call it mega. Our first official base that's not this has been started. When you make comments and I reply to them, there comes a point, like a threshold, where those comments just kind of get overwhelming. So for the most part, my channel comments have been way down here, you know? Not a whole lot of them. They're super great comments, and I do enjoy them. But there hasn't been enough to overwhelm me, per se. And then this past week, it kind of just, like, uh, exploded. And I love replying to the comments and talking to you guys. But there came a point when it just crossed that threshold, and <laughs> I don't know if I can do it anymore. Like, I, I gotta do other things with my time, guys. I gotta make these videos. I can't be focusing on that all the time but I think I won't have to worry about this too much longer because if I am to guess don't quote me on this I'm gonna say that that one viral video is gonna die down in the next couple of hours so we'll see what happens and speaking of becoming desensitized that also happens with <laughs> the subscribers it's been absolutely insane guys I was at like 260 the other day now I'm at 800 that's crazy and so I know that this isn't going to last forever and it's going to stop at some point. And I think that I'm ready for that, ready to go back to the usual business. If you guys are still here to watch the videos, I'll keep on making them. I hope you guys enjoy it. But I, I think that's all I have for real talk today. Oh, no, hold on a second. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, but uh, this is because I muted it once again. See, whenever I deal with signs, guys, I press the down arrow key and then it just d destroys the... The recording and it sucks but as you can see right here i've made a little memoriam saying that 100 views is a lot of views i definitely don't want to forget the times when i would get 100 views in an entire day and that was really good for the channel i don't want to focus too much on the views and i know i have been repeatedly talking about this but it's a huge part of the channel right now we've just had a massive explosion lately i just want to say Thank you all for checking out the channel. I hope you stick around. This wreck week is definitely wrecking me right now, but it's loads of fun. My gosh, this is crazy. Okay, can one of you what? black wool placers show me how to do this properly? Branzi, what are you doing? Is this like a special spot in the water?